what's up guys um okay garage cool people um i was going to so rewind if you saw a youtube short and some posts on my um, instagram um i have uh something in the works with uh, oil catch cans uh, mainly because it's not shaped like a can like every other one is uh, so it was a little more unique and that's what we're all about is just being different um so yeah uh i got some some stuff in the work so the one that i got as like a test to make sure it's going to work before i go and uh, have this company make some more um i want to make sure <clears throat> it works if i already said that um so i have it installed but i'm going to show you guys how to install it uh, super easy and it looks looks pretty sick um, considering it's you know a, a different and um, so yeah Q epic product montage go okay go So as you can see, uh, it's rectangle, so it's just different. Um, but everything else, like your typical uh, oil cash can with the sight tube and um, the two hoses going in. So if you've seen my other videos, I'm a, a huge uh, advocate for just putting a breather on your valve cover to eliminate oil going back into your um, air box because that thing just fills up with um, oil which then the oil residue gets into, you know, your throttle body or your carburetor or whatever. Um, so I just kind of want to eliminate that altogether. So that's what this oil catch can is for, is to do that. Um, if you don't run a breather or if you're running a tube, um, this is better than just running the tube. Um, like I said, my other trucks have breathers. I just want to do something with an oil catch can so we could kind of... <clears throat> brand something with OK Garage because I'm trying to slowly build this up uh, a little bit at a time. So I wanted something that I could sell with uh, my name on it. And I figured this is a good, easy start. Anybody can install it. Um, it's pretty universal and I'll sell it as like the same price as the other one. So uh, you just get one with a cool OK Garage logo on it. Um, so yeah. As you can see, that little red, red there, I've already got it installed, um, but I'm going to, again, show you guys how to install it. But yeah, I, I think it's super sick looking and we'll see how well she holds up under uh, working conditions. And then uh, if it's all good, I'll start selling them in the store and I'll have different colors, black, red, silver, uh, all branded with OK Garage um, on it. So cool, let's, uh, let's get to it. They do come with uh, a mounting hardware, but where I'm going to mount it is gonna require a little custom, custom bracket. So I went and bought some, um, some flat bar uh, it's aluminum, so it's going to be easy to bend. Um, and I'll kind of I'll show you where I'm going to mount it. And I got some uh, some hosing, so the oil can run through. Um, but yeah, so sorry for the long introduction, but uh, I just kind of want to fill you guys in on what's happening. You know, uh, obviously I'm trying to build build something here and so i just wanted to say that i really appreciate um people subscribing and following and 
just kind of, you know, giving me motivation to keep going. I mean, I, I feel pumped when I see people, you know, excited about stuff that's happening because I feel like I'm actually, you know, doing something that's working and I've been getting quite a few referrals in the past week, couple weeks. So to those guys who have been putting out OK Garage on Facebook and all that, like I really, really, really appreciate it. Like you guys are awesome. You could mention anybody else, but you decide to say OK Garage, which is which is rad. So just keep following along and uh, we'll keep keep doing stuff as it comes up. Let's do this oil catch can and like I said, this is kind of a prototype, so I would like to start stocking these. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Um, or if you're just going to purchase one on Amazon or something, uh, this will show you how to install it. Okay, so let's get back into the uh, engine compartment. Um, so, obviously, my exhaust is not there. So I have a big open area. Uh, this is not going to be the case with everybody. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this existing tab for the air box to mount uh, said air uh, oil catch can. So it's gonna be it's gonna be sitting here like this. Oh, it's kind of hard to see, but I'm gonna build the bracket that goes out. So we use the stock bolt, and then the hose is obviously gonna run up to the. Uh, here um so i did look on my truck and the ks you can mount it right here there's a couple holes here and even even so you can mount the the catch can right here and then run the hoses up along the top uh you can't do it on the van because the coolant um reservoir is sitting right there but the truck is completely open so i kind of checked that so if you want to run it on your truck this is a good option in this big open space right here and just you know bolt it in so if you need to for whatever reason get back there or change a motor mount or something or check check timing and stuff you can easily remove it um but on the van i think i think this spot can be used if your exhaust is here because i think the edge of the exhaust is like about right here in line so if you build a bracket that comes out, you can uh, set her right here in this little pocket. And then you just, there's where you're going to connect. Um, so yeah, that is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to cut this, bend it, and drill holes in it, and get that thing set. And then that's, all this is going to be running up along here. So you're not really going to see it. So... Let's get to it. There's one. Oh, sunshine. Patitos. Let's see if we can peep them. There they are. Hi, guys. Where's sunshine at? Yep. Eating random stuff per usual. That is not a worm. Okay, back, back to work. So I definitely do not have much of a shop. So if I can do these with my uh, crude set of tools, then uh, I feel like a lot of a lot of people can uh, accomplish what I'm doing. Um, so I have the uh, I made the little bracket. And now I'm going to uh, drill the holes for the mounting hardware. And uh, yeah, we'll see how this uh, we'll see how this goes. I got about. Two and a half more feet, so if I screw up, I got plenty more to uh, plenty more to work with. All right, so trusty snap-on drill bits, trusty snappies. These suckers are sharp; they will rip your finger off. Making a 
mess. Okay, we got those drilled. Got some uh, infamous wood grain here. Still gotta wrap some more parts. Uh, man. I'm gonna be cleaning that up for a while. So let's go out and uh, make sure that these are gonna, well, make sure these are gonna bolt up. Let's see if it's gonna work. Here's our uh, bracket. It could look uh, prettier, that's for sure. But, hey, Columba, But, for the sake of this, uh, for the look we're going for with the go Goober Chan, uh, it should be fine. Should be a. So you, well, me, or however you're going to do it, I needed to get this out far enough because, see, it gets uh, pretty close to the uh, transmission down there. So, that, like, it's just right there. It's very close. So that was actually perfect. I just winged it. So there we go. So we got it mounted. We got it mounted up. It's very, very solid. Uh, now and then I wanted to be able to see the sight tube the sight glass or whatever uh, so when we see it start filling up with oil we'll know when to drain it um, so now let's hook up the hoses okay so now that we have that mounted what we're gonna do now is take a line going from the valve cover to the can and then from the can to the uh, air box so, uh, we're gonna measure, measure some stuff up. Uh, of course, I don't have a flat head. So I'm gonna take my breather off. So uh, this was just a little uh, K&N breather. I will save that for another vehicle. And now I'm run the hose. So I'm gonna try heating it up a little bit because it's very uh, hard. Soften it up. I 
that shit. I'm just gonna use my heater. Roasting, roasting hose. <laughs> roasting some uh, hose line. Perfect, slid, slid right on there. Exactly what I wanted. Except I forgot to put the hose clamp on. Let's try that again. Well, that's a trick. It's really uh, stiff. Heat it up a little bit, and that softens the uh, softens the vinyl tubing. Now I gotta run it through. Run till that. There's actually an existing uh, hose clamp from the old line, so I'm gonna see if I can use that. Got, got dang anaconda. Bull. There's a hose right here, hose, hose clamp, a little tray for the hose. I'm going to use that. I think that was the old one uh, from the old hose that ran from the valve cover to the air box. That's perfect. show you what I got. So we're running from the top of the valve cover to this hose track here and then into the first one because if I go from here to here it's gonna put probably too much of a bend so I'm gonna go from this one and then loop into that one because we don't want to uh, we don't want to uh, pinch we don't want the hose to pinch. Okay, so let's take a look here. I think I'm gonna probably cut this. This was how it was pre-cut. It's a little crooked. I don't really like it. So we'll probably redo that. But that hose runs there to that existing little uh, hose tray. Then runs into the first nipple. And then this one runs into your air box, which is that little nipple on the bottom of the air box, which that fills up with oil over time from the uh, oil residue. So now all that oil is going to go right to the catch can. And now we can see it fill up. And then when we need to drain it, just take that dude out and drain the oil. Should take a very long time to fill up. But yeah, there she is. I think I'm gonna just kinda maybe I'll wrap wrap this in some black vinyl or paint it. Um just kinda paint that up and then maybe I'll uh I mean the hoses aren't flopping around or anything, so that's pretty that's pretty solid, but man. 
from behind that looks pretty sick with the red and the black kind of matches everything i like it so cool if you uh followed along there she is tucked back in there away from everything um hopefully that was helpful if you're new and you're trying to figure out how an oil catch can works that's how it works uh just catches the residue coming out of the valve cover um so yeah i'm going to be testing this thing to make sure you know it's not a bad design uh before i go and uh, make a deal with this company for more purchase more um and i'll brand them with my uh okay garage logo on it and yeah um it comes with existing hardware so like i said you could mount it here on the trucks just not the van because it hits this um so i just you know make your own bracket really easily and put it right there but cool thanks for watching guys um hopefully that was helpful and uh some more stuff soon to quench your sandbar uh learning appetite cool take it easy guys also, I've been getting a lot of requests to see my ducks more often. So we're going to give a little... Oh, actually, never mind. We got chickens right here.